How do you run a multi-billion dollar cement business without adequate energy? So let's talk to uh, the Dangote Cement CEO who is live to us here in the studios. We welcome him on the program uh, about a minute ago. Let's talk to Honor right now. Uh, talk to, about, about, to us about this. But good morning. Thanks for having Good to have you here on the program. Well, thank you for coming. So, uh, how do you power this? Of course, everybody knows that, yes, Dangote Cement is investing in cement. On one hand, and you're investing in energy on the other hand. Uh, talk to us about your strategy for cost saving uh, uh, a power for these facilities you run across the country. Sure, pleasure. Um, cement is a very uh, energy intensive product. We need uh, both coal or gas or oil, either of the three fuels, to fire up the kiln. So that is the primary process where we need it. And secondly, we are a, a heavy uh, electricity user, so that is again where we need uh, energy. So these are the two main components uh, of energy we are using. Um, yes, um, uh, how do you lean in terms of gas on one side and coal on the other side? There were news, there were news that Dango Testament was importing coal from South Africa, and you're sourcing some locally. Uh, bring us up to speed on this. Yeah. So we have a, a multi-fuel strategy uh, where we can use different fuels depending on market conditions that we can uh, run our uh, facilities on, on multi-types of fuels. Um, with, with gas, we have built our own uh, gas pipelines to uh, accommodate uh, the firing of gas in our kilns. Uh, however, we are also building coal mills, which uh, can then grind the coal and fire it uh, straight away. And we have um, storage facilities for uh, heavy fuel so we can store all three and depending on market conditions, we can use one. So to have flexibility in the fuel mix is very important for us to get to a low cost. Uh, on top of that, um, like I mentioned, we have invested in coal mills, we have invested in um, the gas pipelines, and we have invested uh, in, uh, in uh, electricity generating uh, facilities. Um, we're also looking further, so we are sourcing coal uh, from South Africa, uh, but we are uh, definitely planning to um, also source and mine coal in Nigeria. And how much are you spending on cost-effective energy solutions for your business? Uh, it's, it's a major part of the plan because if you look at the power plant uh, and, and all the enabling facilities, it's up to 20-25% of the total investment. So if you have a plan of uh, $400 million as one unit, then uh, up to $100 million can be for all the energy enabling facilities. And uh, like, like you were saying, um, a power plant is a big part of it. Uh, if you add it all up together, uh, we have uh, over half a billion of uh, capacity of uh, electricity generating uh, facilities uh, all over Africa. So we are a, we are a small uh, power producer. <laughs> Uh, very interesting, uh, but again, it, it all comes down to, to, to pricing of products. Uh, so, uh, uh, how are you managing your business in such a way that you don't bring the entire cost of this uh, energy onto what uh, our consumers pay? Um, because we, we make it, uh, we, we use it internally for us, it's, it's a matter of cost, but the biggest cost for us will come from non-availability of electricity. Because if we have our equipment and we cannot fulfill uh, the market demand, for us the biggest price to pay is let that demand unserved. So that is why it is for us important to build our own uh, power plant and make sure that uh, power is always available. And of course, if you have scale and experience uh, in running uh, power plants, then the cost of it will come down substantially. And if you can do the last part, which is um, having your own coal mine, you will become very, very competitive. Well, so where will you be uh, sourcing for coal in Nigeria, for example? Uh, I don't want to be pre too precise <laughs> at this stage, uh, as you can imagine. Because you don't, want, uh, your, you don't want your competitors <laughs> going there first and digging the ground. Yeah, but there is uh, certainly a uh, good scope uh, in Nigeria to mine coal, yes. Is it cheaper to mine coal here than to import? Um, ultimately, long term, it is part of our business strategy and, and we, we come to uh, speak about it. Uh, clearly, what is in, in at the core of our business model is that we want to replace imports with uh, domestically produced. So it's a matter of cost, yes, but it's also a matter of preserving currency. 
Now, if you look at where your main operations are in Nigeria, in Obajana, in Boko, and Ibeshenogun State, these are locations quite far from where you have gas facilities in Nigeria, uh, so you invest in the pipelines. Yes, that's right. So we have the pipelines to go to both uh, Ibeshe and Obujana. Okay. Yep. Mm, uh, are, those, uh, are those pipelines, uh, pipeline network being constructed already? No, no, it's done. And, and both uh, facilities are actually uh, capable of 100% running on gas. It's, a, like I said, it's a matter of uh, flexibility depending on the pricing and availability of gas that we, we would like to run to have other opportunities to have fuel flexibility. So depending on the market price and availability, we can switch. Gas right now has some challenges locally. Absolutely. So uh, we have a, a reduced availability. And that is why it is good that we can run actually three types of fuel. Mm. At the moment, we have installed most of our kilns. We have coal mills. And wherever we have not, we will be uh, finalizing them. I just had the opportunity to go around uh, all three plants. And they will be ready in the next uh, couple of months. It was very good to see that uh, all the structures and mills uh, were coming up uh, above eye level already. Mm. If all the, the energy structures are in place, will that reduce costs of your products? Absolutely. So for us, uh, energy is the, most Im the biggest cost. So at what point should consumers be looking at reduced cement costs from Dangote Cement in 2016? Um, yes, I think uh, we have already announced one price decrease. We are passing on um, some of the cost advantages we have. And uh, energy is one major element, but what we are also doing is um, we are delivering uh, cement to the consumer. We have just taken delivery of an additional 2,000 trucks, uh, which enable us to uh, export our uh, cement not only in Nigeria, but it also allows us to export uh, the cement uh, through our neighboring countries in the ECOWAS uh, region. Uh, again, earning us uh, foreign currency. And more importantly, because our fixed cost, like once you have paid for the power plant, you have paid for it. Mm -hmm. So the more volume we can get from exports, uh, the lower our unit cost will be. So uh, we are very confident that uh, we have uh, by far the most efficient capacity. Um, and again, I'm, I'm coming back to our business model. One, one, is, uh, one major element is to replace imports with domestically uh, made. Secondly, we see a lot of opportunity uh, in, in South of Saharan Africa to replace uh, outdated, uh, not efficient, not, not good quality producing uh, other producers to replace them uh, with our quality brand. Mm. Okay, oh, now let's uh, continue this conversation after the break. We have specific questions uh, regarding your strategy in Africa. You're spending so much uh, uh, in 13 countries. Uh, and we have a lot to talk about the value that you're delivering to shareholders via this uh, operation. How Nigeria actually supports this Pan African expansion looks like Nigeria is the golden geese. Uh, see how it's laying the egg for the rest of the continent. It's certainly the basis.